For your second assignment, you've been asked to summarize the key elements of continuous improvement as they relate to strategic operations. You are not given a reference list for this assignment, so you will have to find sources on your own. Your course guide contains some suggested journal titles, databases, and keywords you can try to find articles. When you aren't looking for a specific article, you have to take a different approach than you took with the first assignment. A great place to start searching for articles is a library database, which will look for many journals at one time. It's important to keep in mind that there is no one perfect article. You will have to do several searches using different keywords. You should also consider how others might be talking about continuous improvement, what keywords they might be using, how they might be relating this topic to other business topics. After you've done some initial thinking of what words you might be able to use in your search, you can go to the literature review section of your course guide. I'm going to use the database ABI Inform Complete, a great resource for business articles. The first thing I'm going to do is a search just for continuous improvement in the main search box right on the home page. You'll notice that I put quotes around the two words. That's because I'm telling the database I wanted to find the words continuous and improvement right next to each other, rather than finding both of those words somewhere in the article, but not necessarily as a phrase. This will limit your results and make sure that they are relevant to what you are actually searching. After you put your keyword in, you can press search. You can see that I got 87,541 results, which is way too many. You usually want to aim for under 100 because you want to take the time to actually glance at each of the results and see if it's a good fit for your research topic. The first thing I'm going to do is add in another keyword by connecting them with the word and. I'm going to add in the phrase corporate culture so that I get an idea of how continuous improvement affects the corporate culture of a company. This time when I press search, you can see I'm down to just over 5,000 results, which is a huge improvement. However, we want to keep narrowing this down. To do that, you can use the options along the side of the page. One of the first things I like to do is go to the peer-reviewed section and limit to peer-reviewed. This will focus my search just on scholarly articles that have been published by professors or professionals in the field. Also along the side, you can limit to a specific publication title. So if there is a specific journal you want to search in, like the International Journal of Operations and Production Management, you can just look at all 45 of those journal articles at one time. Another useful section along this side is the subject section. What this does is it says, based on the search you just did, here are some other words or phrases you might be able to try. You can add these to your search, or you can create a new search using one of these phrases to see what other articles are out there. Finally, towards the bottom, you'll see there is a publication date section which you can use to limit your search to a given date range. This is often very useful when conducting this type of research. I'm going to go ahead and limit my search to 2010 so that I only see the most recent articles in my results. So now I'm down to 324 results, which is a significant improvement. So I'm just going to stop here for now. I do want to point out just a few things as we actually look at an article. As you click on one of the results, usually the first thing you'll see is a summary of the article. This is a great place to start in order to determine whether or not the article is relevant to your research topic. Then you will see the full text right below that. If you don't want to read it in that format, you can use the PDF option along the right side. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see a list of references that were cited in this article. This is a great place to find other articles that will be helpful for your research. If the article you're reading is relevant to the topic you're researching, then some of the articles they cite might be relevant as well. As you go through this process, you should start to find a number of articles that will be helpful for your assignment. If you do have questions, please feel free to get in touch with me.